Uh, the CRM is uh, happy to welcome all of you for the, this conference in memory of our colleague and friend, uh, Norbert Schlomiuk. So um, as director of the CRM, so my name is Octav Cornea. Uh, well, we, we know uh, one another, most of us, but uh, I am really happy to be able to um, have this uh, day. Uh, he, the impact of Norbert on the mathematical world in Montreal and elsewhere was felt in many ways through his contributions to topology, the mentoring of students, the involvement with uh, Amnesty International. On a personal level, Norbert and Dana were uh, one of the poles of attractions that brought my family to Montreal. We were amazed by Norbert's effervescence and sense of humor by his ironic and sometimes acerbic view of the world, mathematical and not, all superposed on a deep level of kindness and uh, clarity of judgment. Well, I will uh, start uh, the meeting and pass, pass uh, 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 introductory uh, segment to Francois, who will uh, take it from here. C'est vraiment un plaisir d'organiser finalement en présence ce, ce, cette journée de colloque en, en l'honneur de, de notre ami et collègue Norbert. Alors, euh, bon, alors, nous ne sommes pas légion, de toute façon, il ne fallait pas être plus, hein, parce qu'avec les, euh, les règles du Covid, on est juste à bonne distance. Donc, euh, mais finalement, on a été arrivé à le faire, à organiser cette journée pour, euh, en l'honneur de, de, de la mémoire de, de Norbert. Et puis alors, euh, en fait, bon, euh, c'est la qualité qu'on a, hein, c'est toujours ce que Norbert a voulu, <rire> la qualité au-dessus de la quantité. Alors, euh, donc, je remercie beaucoup le CRM, hein, euh, Octave en particulier, et puis aussi Alexandre, euh, responsable des activités scientifiques, et puis tout le personnel de Virginie, alors Virginie n'est pas là en ce moment, mais euh, enfin, le personnel du CRM, parce qu'ils ont, euh, ont travaillé fort. Et euh, donc, vous êtes d'ailleurs tous invités au banquet, euh, je dis tout de suite, hein, au banquet ce soir, qui est... Si je me suis mis off, <rire> gracieusement offert en dehors de CRM, vous êtes invité euh, avec votre, ou, euh, votre conjoint et votre conjointe. Alors, je vois d'ailleurs qu'il y a déjà des pères qui sont ici. <rire> Alors, euh, donc, le, 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 euh, bon, je, je crois qu'il est plus saillant que je vous livre mes émotions euh, ce soir au banquet, plutôt que de le faire maintenant. Alors, ce que je veux dire, c'est que euh, Norbert est, euh, est décédé au tout début de la pandémie, dans les pires moments. Hein, donc, ça fait environ maintenant deux ans. Et quel, quel le mois, c'était le mars ou avril Mars. Mars, c'est le pire, hein, ça venait juste de commencer. Et donc, euh, donc ça veut dire que sa, sa dépouille est passée directement de l'hôpital à l'incinération. Et donc, même Dana n'a pas pu le voir sa dépouille. Donc, c'était des circonstances euh, vraiment atroces pour perdre un être cher. Et euh, donc, euh, on veut réparer ça. Donc, euh, c'était mon projet et je suis heureux de voir que je crois que ça va être une belle journée hein, en son honneur. Et alors... Euh, la dernière chose que je voudrais dire, c'est que je crois que c'est, euh, vous savez, quand on, euh, lors des funérailles dans, pardon, ah. Ah, pardon. donc lors des funérailles à New Orleans, eh ben, on le fait dans la joie et euh, on célèbre la, une personne dans la joie et donc c'est ce que je vous invite à faire, euh, célébrer la mémoire de Norbert. Donc on commence aujourd'hui avec une belle journée de colloque et, euh, et puis bon voilà, on va finir sans beauté ce soir. Donc le restaurant, je vous dis tout de suite, c'est chez l'évêque sur la rue Laurier Ouest. D'accord, donc c'est entre, entre Côte-Sainte-Catherine, je ne sais pas si c'est indiqué dans le... Je ne crois pas que le nom du restaurant soit indiqué dans les, euh, les documents. Donc c'est... Oui, c'est indiqué, indiqué, ok, parfait. Okay. Donc c'est ce, entre Côte-Sainte-Catherine et la ville du parc, c'est à 5 minutes d'ici. Oui, Jacques Juste une question, vous avez pour vérifier notre inscription, est-ce que ce sera... Pas du tout, non, non. Non, non, je vais être là pour vous accueillir, euh, Octave. Non, non, mais si vous devez réserver un certain nombre de... Ah, c'est déjà réservé, oui, il y a déjà un certain nombre de places réservées. Oh. Oui, ça va être au deuxième, oui. Ça va être, on aura une, par, une partie, peut-être la totalité de la salle qui est au deuxième étage. Comme on dit en, en France, à l'étage. Donc, euh, voilà, donc... Je voudrais dire quelque chose sur mon connexion avec Norbert, qui va plus de 50 ans. Donc, j'ai en fait venu dans ma vie à un point très crucial it's a very crucial, difficult part of my life. I think when, when I, uh, just after I left uh, Romania in 1969, uh, I, 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 uh, I was invited to, uh, to, to, uh, <coughs> to, to visit this, this university. <coughs> uh, so I had an invitation uh, uh, and then I left, I, I first went to a conference in Germany 
which I was allowed to, and then the rest was illegal. So I, 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 I was, uh, I did some, I break the law, I think, by, by coming to Canada. <clears throat> uh, and I, I was, I was, uh, I was hoping, I wanted to go to Princeton. I had the invitation to Princeton, I guess. When I arrived to Canada, uh, I, I was in a very difficult situation. I didn't have a visa for the US and I, I had to stay somewhere for, to, to, to wait for this. At that point, I, I met Norbert who, who, and, and Dana, uh, who, who uh, actually uh, just were un unbelievably generous to me. So, and, and, uh, so uh, or was, I was almost like an adopted child for them, I think, in some sense. Uh, so, so, they, they, uh, uh, so they helped me with many, many different things. Uh, I, I remember, for example, they, they, uh, they uh, uh, took me on a trip uh, to, to Gaspé Peninsula for, for a week. Uh, which, 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 which is, so I think I, I cannot imagine any, any other example when people do that to some refugee like this. Uh, so, so, um, and, uh, so anyway, so I had to stay two months uh, and all, all these two months, they, they, they helped me in all, all possible ways. And eventually I got my visa to the US. <clears throat> uh, and, and then we, we, we became uh, some friends and, and uh, I had uh, came back many times uh, to, to Montreal, uh, and, and uh, uh, so maybe uh, I don't know the last last time. I, uh, so anyway, so so uh, we so he, he he played a very very big role in my life, as you say. So now uh, maybe going to uh, mathematics. Well, so I think this. Uh, so I will talk about. Sem something about semi-simple groups. So this, this is something which, which is actually cent central object in mathematics. Everybody is supposed to, to know something about semi-simple groups. <laughs> and so they, they, they were uh, basically, uh, in the beginning, they were Lie groups, over, so com groups of complex numbers. And in, in the, as time passed, uh, complex numbers were replaced by other fields. So, so so uh, these semi-simple groups uh, were defined over uh, the Faber field of Cartesian P or uh, any any field, and this was this was done by Chevalet. Uh, but they originally they were they were introduced by by uh, uh, Killing and Cartan. They, they they did the classification in, in the end of nineteenth century. And it turned out that they, uh, these this semi-simple groups uh, are classified by some discrete, uh, discrete object, discrete <coughs> set of invariants, which are, uh, which are sometimes file groups. So, so they are, so semi-simple groups, they are uh, type A, which is GRN, a type B, symplectic group, and C and D are orthogonal groups. Sorry, C, C, C is symplectic group and D. And the orthogonal groups. And there are some exceptional groups, E, E6, E7, E8, and G2 and F4. <clears throat> uh, so these are the uh, classification of, of, of sim simple uh, Lie uh, groups. <clears throat> uh, so now what, what I want to, so actually in, in the, uh, when you want to define, to give, to, to go from this um, bar group to, to the uh, semi-simple group, it's usually a co rather complex, di difficult, non-trivial uh, step. You first have to define Lie algebra so the usual way is to first define the Lie algebra and then, 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 then take exponential map and, and then get the Lie group. And I want to, to explain a different way to go di directly uh, from bar group to semi-simple group without going to Lie algebra. Uh, and in this way, uh, actually this definition, you will, you will get a, a Lie group not over complex numbers or real numbers, but over positive real numbers. 
So there is such a such object also. So all, all these Lie groups can can be defined. This this uh, this object which is Lie group over positive real numbers. So that that's what I want to explain here. And, and this is something which, uh, in case of GLN, uh, this object was introduced by uh, at maybe around 1930 uh, by Klein and uh, Gunmacher, and also by Schoenberg. So two two independent uh, definitions, <clears throat> and these two people were from uh, Odessa. And this, this people from Galatia, actually, Romania, mm -hmm. very close to Odessa, mm -hmm. actually. And it was independent. To, uh, so, what this happened independently at the almost same time, in almost the same place. This kind of thing. And the definition is that you, if you take a, a n, n by a matrix, Aij, with entries in real numbers. Then this matrix is said to be totally positive. It means that uh, all uh, k by k minors are strictly positive. So for every k, so so all entries are positive and all all k by k minors are positive. And uh, it it is not it's not completely obvious that such matrix exists. But in fact, they exist and they form an open set in the in a set of all real matrices. <clears throat> and um, so, so, so this group can be called GLN over R uh, positive. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, so actually, some one thing that I, I found that, uh, like. 25 years ago, something like that, or 30, almost 30 years ago, was that uh, this notion of uh, this Lie group over positive, strictly positive real numbers also makes sense for all, all the other series of, of groups. Uh, yes? This, this notion uh, that, uh, that seems to me that, seems, seems to me that the matrix it acts, uh, preserve the, the value of or, 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 or on the top line. On each element of the full flag. It's what? Preserves what? Preserves the orientation. Yes. On each element of the, of the full flag. Yes. Yes, something. Yes. But, but, uh, so, so, so no, but uh, probably more than that. Because then, well, why is it so hard to prove that? What is hard? What? Yes, well, why, why is it so hard to prove that? Well, it's not hard, but, uh, but, uh, proper, proper van der Mond determinant. Uh, this van der Mond determinant, that, 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 that is a total positive. But this is matrix uh, one 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 a b c a square b square c square. If a b c are strictly positive, uh, this this uh, and, and suppose a bigger than b bigger than c something like this, th then it is totally pos positive. So that, that that's how you that, that's that's an example. <clears throat> uh, anyway, but but. Uh, so, so uh, about 1990 something, I found the definition of, of, of total positive field in each for each of the series. Uh, but what, 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 so one thing that, that is, uh, I want to explain today, which is new, is that it is possible to define uh, these total positive uh, uh, groups uh, without knowing the. Uh, Without knowing the complex or real groups, perhaps in this case I first started with a group of real numbers. Then I took some sub 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 uh, subset of that, but I, I want to define it directly without knowing the Lie group. Uh, but by the way, this this uh, total positive thing form they don't form a group; they form a semi-group. This is these methods are closed under multiplication, but not under inversion. <clears throat> so, uh, so now the so now I want to say something about the uh, uh, bar group. So how, how so these are the uh, in a classical case these are skeleta of, of uh, semi simple groups, some kind of combinatorial skeleta. Uh, so actually, well, you can you can start with the what is called the Coxeter diagram. 
So, so this is a graph which is connected uh, and has admits uh, ha has some harmonic functions. So I say what I will say what this means. So it means the function f on the vertices of the graph is values uh, uh, positive integers uh, such that for any um, for any, uh, for any uh, vertex, if you take the sum, well, the, the, the value of, of the function at the vertex is the average of the values at all neighboring vertices. Uh, so th this, this condition makes it harmonic. And then you also want that f of i equals one for some i. And uh, actually, uh, it was Coxeter who proved that the uh, uh, graph, connected graph, it, it, it has such a function. Uh, the, this, this classification of such things is the same as classification of semi simple groups. It's a, I think it's a most beautiful theorem, a really amazingly beautiful. And, and I, I, don't, I don't know if he wrote it somewhere, but I, I've heard it from himself, actually. <laughs> he told me. I met I met Coxeter once when I was in England in 1973, I think, and he, he told me this this theorem uh, that these are so 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 the uh, examples of so so what are, for example one one such graph is this one is just a with, so the function is one 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 everywhere it's just a cycle you see the value at one it's a is a half of the values you half of the sum of values here uh, to back to two neighbors but another one is another example you can take uh, 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 this this graph and you, the the the, the uh, harmonic function is one 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 two 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 so again the uh, uh, the uh, value, this value is half of the sum at this, this, and this. And then value here is uh, half of the sum of this and this. And then, then there's also this exceptional uh, uh, type, which is, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, four and two and three. So th this is this another another graph with, which which has a harmonic function, and this this responsible for the D group E eight. So, so I actually, so so th this this uh, this method actually gives you all the uh, <coughs> well. This doesn't give all semi simple group, but gives what's called simple least. Semi simple groups, so the non simple lays, there's some simple procedure to get them by, uh, by uh, afterwards. So, so I will concentrate on the simple lays case. Uh, so, so you see, you see these graphs. Now, now from this, um, from this Coxter diagram, you can, uh, you can then, you can look at, uh, you can remove one vertex. Uh, for which this function is one. Uh, so for example, in this case, you, you remove, uh, you, you, you have to remove this one. And in this case, you have a choice. You remove one of these four. And in this case, you remove one, one of these. <clears throat> and then what is left will be, uh, th th that is what is used to define the bar group. So, so the bar group, so, so now you take some vector space E uh, with basis alpha i, i, i zero is all over complex. So, so it's a, so, so that's a basis. So, so it's C uh, complex numbers. Uh, uh, you are drawing this with basis. <clears throat> and then you define some, uh, uh, some linear maps, some involutions 
for any i i zero. Sorry, any i in, in e and i zero by the following formula s i of alpha j is alpha j minus two alpha i or alpha j plus alpha i or alpha j, one of these three cases. So, so this is if, if i equals j, this is if i is joined with j and this is otherwise. So, so this, uh, this, this is, is a reflection to so a square equal to one and the w, the val group is the subgroup of GLE uh, generated by this SI. This val group has a length function for each element. So that's a finite group actually, but it has a length function. So this is a length of W. So this is a minimum of all K such that W is a product of uh, K generators. And then the uh, W, then you, W zero will be the longest, will be the unique element uh, such that W zero is maximum. And this maximum, so that, that that's a, a theorem. So this maximum value is called new. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so then um, you can introduce the following semi-group U greater than zero will be a uh, will be semi-group with generators uh, I to the um, so by the uh, I to the A. So I, I is some one vertex with I zero and A is a strictly positive, uh, uh, well, actually it's a yeah, strictly positive real number. <clears throat> and the relations are like this. So I, A, I, B equals I, A plus B. Then if you have I, if you have two different uh, generators, uh, two, two different vertices, which, so two vertices which are connected, then you have a relation like this. Actually, that's the most interesting relation. J A prime, I A prime, J B, uh, sorry, B prime, C prime. That is if I, J are connected. And here A prime, is equal to uh, BC divided by A plus C, B prime equals A plus C, and, and the C prime is AB divided by A plus C. But they, all this operation makes sense because A and C are strictly positive. So the sum is also strictly positive. So, so you're allowed to divide by it. And there, these numbers are also strictly positive. And then uh, there's also another relation I, A, uh, J, B equals J, B, I, A. If I and J are not connected, if I, so otherwise, let's say, uh, if I, I, J, I different from J, but not connected in the graph. So these are the relations. And actually the interesting part is that this is almost the same as the definition of Coxeter group. So, uh, so definition of VAR group, the VAR group is a, what is called a Coxeter group. And it has, uh, it has uh, uh, relations like this, I uh, square equal to one, I j i equals j i j, if I go, join j and i j equals j i if i different from j but not joined so, so that's so that is the um, uh, that's a presentation of the val group which was discovered by coxeter uh, uh, it, a special case of what is coxeter group and, and this thing it's it's very very similar so, so I, I, I think that to to, to coxeter definition but uh, 
the, these formulas, of course, don't appear. The, these formulas are, are, are the interesting. They don't appear in the bar group case. <clears throat> so, so this uh, semi group. Uh, actually, if you if you uh, you can interpret the semi group in, in terms of what uh, uh, Schoenberg and Klein and did. It, it could be viewed as as a part of the as upper triangular uh, uh, group uh, with with uh, whose uh, so it's all the upper triangular matrices which have all the minors strictly greater than zero or or zero. So, uh, so, so, so it could be interpreted like that. <laughs> but now, now there's, there's another group which is uh, used strictly positive, which, which we, we want to define. Um, so now you take you take all. So now, now you you. Uh, oh, yeah. So before I, yes, I need a need a uh, definition before. So, <clears throat> so I uh, script I is a set of all um, sequences i1, i2, i nu uh, sequence in i0 in this set of vertices of our graph such that si1, si2, si nu equals w0, which is the longest element. So this, as I mentioned, longest element has uh, can be written as a product of new reflections, new generators, but it, it can be written in many different ways. So all those different ways are recorded by, by uh, the sequences and they form a set I, uh, script I. Uh, I don't know what I should use now. Uh, <clears throat> So, uh, I think this one doesn't. See. So your new is by definition the maximum flow. What? Your new. Yes. Yeah. The new is by, by definition the maximum the, the maximum word length. It's a maximum length. The word yes. Length. Yes. So, so why is it uh, so? Why is not infinite? Uh, sorry, why, why, why is it not infinite? Why ah, is it ah, but w is finite. W is finite. W is finite. Yes. Yeah, of course, it has to be finite. Yeah. So, like, oh, okay. No, no, no but you can see that on, on the other slides. Oh, because, uh, yeah, that it can be seen because uh, actually, one way to see it is that uh, uh, on this vector space, you can view this as a, as a real vector space also. And then this this has a, in, a inner product, a, or has a, has a inner pro, has a orthogonal, but inner, in, symmetric inner product, which is positive definite. And this this uh, uh, this uh, formulas preserve the inner product, so th so these are part of of, of, a, of a compact group, because the, the uh, at worst the positive form is form a compact group. On the other hand, they they, they form a discrete group yeah. also, and that, that's why it's finite. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, so so now there's a uh, there's a sub sub semi group of this U is called U strictly positive. It is it is formed by all. Uh, you take you take one of these elements of 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 of, of this set, and you, you you put some powers a one, a two, a nu, and this all this AI are strictly positive. So you take all such all such things, but you fix for fixed fixed uh, sequence i one i two i new. So they, they so that's a subset, but it miraculously turns out that it is uh, independent of the sequence i one i two i new. And, and this this you can prove by uh, because this a, so so this you call u new u u strictly positive set of all this. So you define it using one one such sequence, but the result is actually independent of the sequence. And the, the reason for that is that there's a theory of Matsumoto, which tells you that 
any two such sequences can be transformed one to another by making uh, uh, by making use of transformations of this this form or this form. You can you can go from one to the other by, by this, and then uh, and then you can. Uh, it means that you can uh, transform any product like, like this into product for 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 this uh, for, for an, an, another Lewis expression by using making use of these formulas here. <clears throat> so this is, so this independent, and it is it is, it is itself a semi group. Okay, this corresponds to uh, in the situation of Klein and Dalmacher correspond to matrices which are upper triangular uh, and have strictly positive has entries are strictly positive and all the minors are uh, uh, well it's a sort of the uh, yeah no, maybe that's not yeah maybe I shouldn't say that uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So it's it's uh, it's a semi-group. So in in, the, in case of SL two, maybe I give an example. So um, so uh, this this group is uh, one one a. So these are these two semi groups. Uh, 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 <clears throat> okay, so now, um, but now, now you want to define what is called G positive. So this, this in some, in some sort of is a double of this. In the same way, a GLN has, uh, you, you, have, you have to use both upper triangular and lower triangular methods to, 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 to mix them in some sense. You have to define, you want to define this group. So, um, Okay, so for this I have to define some um, uh, some, some map from this positive to this positive. So for every every vertex, there will be such a such a map a bijection. <clears throat> so it is defined as follows: T i of i one, c one, i two, c two. Is new. Uh, actually, it depends also on on a on a parameter c. So you just uh, multiply this c one by c, and the others are unchanged. Uh, but you have to be uh, careful that. Uh, you, you choose this uh, this expression so that i one equals i. You can you can you have many reduce expressions for that. So w zero has many many reduce expressions, and uh, in fact you, there, you can find one which starts with anything you want. For example, in in, in a asset type uh, for, for this graph, uh, these reduce expressions are i j i and j i j so this one we start with i and one we start with j and that's always true in general so you have to choose one you have to choose this, 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 uh, this uh, sequence so that it starts with i and then, then there's this formula and then you can prove that it's actually independent of which which expression you choose provided it has this property so so that's a well defined projection uh, <clears throat> okay, now there's a now comes something which is a little bit uh, uh, complicated. So, so I want to uh, choose again some something in I. 
then I look, then I can form a Uh, this is thing i k so so this this happens in this vector space e which has basis alpha i alpha i and this can be written as a sum of r i k alpha i and then i guess i denote by r prime k sum of these things it is a positive real number, positive number. <clears throat> and, and then for every uh, P in R positive to the power I, I zero. So any sequence of, of, of I give uh, this, this is collection of strictly positive real numbers indexed by the vertices of our graph. I define U of P to be I1 to, uh, to R, R prime one, P I1, I2, R prime two, I2, I nu, R prime nu, P I nu. So, um, so this is so this belongs to this uh, semi-group like this. And uh, actually one can show it's independent of the choice of, of this one. So it's independent of I1. So now I also need another definition. So, so I want to denote QI to be sum of R I K, but this time I sum over, not over I, but over K. K from uh, one. Uh, yes, okay, from one to new. And this also a positive number. <clears throat> and I want to denote Q, Q will be Q will be this collection of, of uh, numbers QI. I, I, with I, I is in vertex. Okay, so now there's the following. Uh, oops. Now there's a theorem which says it is. Uh, so there's a unique bijection. Uh, phi from U positive. U positive uh, such that first it has a very simple commutation with, with this uh, TIC, which I defined there. Uh, the inverse. So uh, what is I star? So S. As I, so as I to I star, it's the evolution of these vert vertices. So that as I star is W zero, as I W zero. So this unique such evolution. So, so, so this, so phi is required to have this very simple commutation formula. And then also supposed to, to map U of one to U of Q inverse. So U of one, so U, U of P has been defined for every P, in particular U of one is defined and U of Q inverse is defined. Yeah, sorry, can you repeat how you define the I star? Uh, yeah, so um, by, by, this, by this identity, the, I, I claim this unique so evolution of- So what is W zero then? W zero is the longest element. Ah, that's the longest. So, for example, in, in uh, for this graph, I if have uh, only two vertices. In this what case, I I J the J in the change the two. So I, I star equals J and J star equals I. But for example, for the graph of type E E eight, for this most complicated graph, this is this identity. This I star is equals I. 
in, 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 uh, for, for, for uh, uh, type A, which is this graph, then this map I go to I star is just this, uh, this kind of evolution. <clears throat> Okay, so that 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 is uh, that that is a term which which I did I did know uh, before. So um, and then so now, now we can look at the following. Uh, so, so so we look at uh, three subsets. What the star operation is always in evolution. Which one? The, I, the star operation yeah, yeah, is yeah, always yeah. in evolution. Always evolution. evolution yes. <clears throat> So look at all all injective maps from u positive to u positive. So the first one is uh, u the map u goes to u u times u one for any u one in, in u strictly positive. So these are just left just right translations. Uh, the second one is all maps u also right translation, but u you first uh, apply this phi. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> so, so this, this subset is called the uh, U, uh, U plus strictly positive. This is called U minus strictly positive. And the third one is, uh, or oh, you just have to refine it, S of P, uh, apply to you. So S, S is following. S of, so if P is the PI as before, then S of P applied I1, C1, I mean C mu equals I is basically what we use uh, C1, PI1, C mu, PI mu. So, so that, uh, that's independent of the reduced expression. So uh, this is called T positive. Okay, and then the uh, claim. So claim is that each of these is a semi-group. So for this, this is, this, this, this is a semi-group. You can compose two injective maps and you get another injective map. Uh, so, so inside the semi-group, this, this, this three are, this, these are sub-semi-groups. <laughs> and uh, in fact, the, uh, you can define this thing to be uh, a product in any order. Uh, so, so uh, actually, the product in order is if you take product this order or this order, you get you get the same thing. And in fact, any element here is is uniquely a product of something here, something here, something here, and uniquely a product of something here, something here, something here. And uh, actually, this this procedure will, uh, in case of uh, SLN, this will recover the the old definition of. Uh, of Klein and Gamma and Schoenberg. This is produced that, that definition. But uh, actually, in, in this approach, you, you don't have to know in advance your, your Lie group. You, you just construct it uh, uh, directly. <clears throat> uh, yes. Yeah, so I suppose maybe I should stop here. So, yeah. Il y, a, il y a des micros, hein, j'ai déjà des micros répartis dans la salle. Euh, je vous invite, euh, lorsque vous posez une question, <rire> je vous invite, lorsque vous posez une question, à l'utiliser. I have a question. What is in the example, this bijection, what is this in the TIC? What are in SLN for SL2 or SLN? They're just... Oh, SL2, it's... Uh... 
Ja, das ist, äh, ist mit phi, phi äh, ist äh, one over a. <lacht> Okay. But in SLT, uh, there's, no, there's a for formula in each of these expression, and uh, uh, actually one difficulty with this thing is that I don't think I can write the formula in general. I, I can prove that it exists. I can compute it in any case, but but I cannot write the uh, formula. In SLT, I can write for both of expression. I can write the formula. Uh, uh, but but uh, as a four, I can write uh, on each case. I can write a formula, but but I I don't know that I cannot guess what what is uh, what the formula in general. I can just prove that it exists. Mm. Uh, but oh, but it has a it has a uh, uh, it has an interpretation. I, I can tell you, tell you what, what what is the interpretation. That, that that's quite interesting. I think it's interesting. But you have to know what is the flag manifold for that. So, so, uh, so, so for, for example, for um, so in a, uh, how should I say? So instead of so, if you have a this G, G suppose G is SLN uh, C, then it has a, a flag manifold. So, so these some um, uh, all all sequences of subplaces of version one to n, etc. And uh, now, now here you have uh, this u plus positive and u minus positive, and you also have this uh, uh, b, b plus and b minus. These are the uh, up, upper triangular matrices, uh, the two opposite ones, upper triangular and lower triangular matrices. So like this uh, sub subgroup of this. And these two are, are points of, of the flag manifold. You can view them as points of this. And now this uh, group G acts on, on X, and you can look at the orbit of B plus. <coughs> you can, but you suppose you apply, you conjugate this by, by only by elements in U minus positive. And then, Something I proved a long time ago that is the same as uh, u prime b minus u prime inverse uh, so so the, so these two are, are the same and, and then there's a unique bijection between this and this uh, so that the uh, if I apply u to be to to so u goes to u prime uh, such that if you apply u to this group you get u prime applied to this group mm -hmm. and that that is the map phi okay <coughs> and then for example in in, uh, in uh, SL two the flag of a real number flag manifold is a, is actually a circle and b plus b minus or two two points on the circle. And this, this sub, subset of plug manifold, which appears here, is, is half of the circle. And this half of the circle can be parameterized in, in two, two, two different ways by, you, by this positive and negative uh, thing. And that gives a bijection. But, but the, the point is, what I'm saying now is that this bijection can be, can be uh, characterized without knowing anything about plug manifolds, anything like that, but purely in, in, uh, in combinatorial terms. And, and this, this, this actually will give you a definition of, you can construct semi-simple groups in, in this way without, without having Lie algebra. TIC, what, what, what's the, 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 TI, the TIC, the, this T? Is there an easy way to see what, the, what they are in this example? Uh, no, 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 no. But that, that is uh, that's uh, that's a simpler one. That okay. that is uh, simpler, one, but I, I don't know anything simpler than that. No. Okay. No question. Okay, so, thank the speaker. Yeah.